Hello and welcome. Today, uh, we're going to tidy up our configuration. Um, we've just been adding stuff to our config so far, and it's pretty, it can get pretty messy. One of the nice things that you can do with Emacs, if if you um, you can get if you get familiar with org mode, it's quite a powerful um, quite a powerful mode to do things, and it all, you can also have org mode kind of compile to other uh, other files and other languages. Uh, so I'll kind of show you that today. Um, I'll probably skip ahead a few bits. I, I won't show every single thing that I do, um, but I'll try and explain things along the way. Um, so as you can see in our, our configuration, we have these this kind of top section here up until up until about here. Below here, we want to move. So all of this stuff is kind of built-in stuff or things that we can that we want in the main file just to initialize things um, to get going. And then everything else um, I I put in a different basically I put in an org org file. Um, so let's create the org file. So all I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna create a buff buffer and I'm gonna call it my tut org confirm so importantly you don't want to uh you don't want to call it tut.org or most people it'll be init.org or init.l because what we're going to do is we're going to do an org mode file that contains code snippets and then when we compile that that org mode file it will create a .el file with the same name so if we called it tut Dot org it would compile to tut dot l e l which would replace our kind of initial tut dot e l file um which can be fine you can you know i could include all of this stuff um in a different file but then to update it it just gets a bit weird you have to run it manually this way it'll just be run automatically um you'll see what i mean later so let's um Let's set org mode and let's say, let's just add, you know, super duper config. And we'll just save that to Emacs. Whoa, we do want to override things. My tut, tut org. There we go, saved. Cool. Um, so let's figure out the sections that we're going to want. Um, I will do a video on org mode at some point, but for now, this this will kind of get you going. And actually, this is quite a nice introduction to org mode because I have other plugins, uh, other extensions, other packages that um, improve the way org mode, org mode looks. So at the minute, you have stars. So for org mode, you have you can have indented lists. It's basically just stars, um, but that can be changed so that it shows dots, indented dots instead. But we'll get into that at some point. Um, don't need to worry about it now. So the things that we want to do generally, the way I do it is I have a general settings, which are kind of built in Emacs things. And then I have um, like UI, so like theme related stuff. I haven't actually done fonts in this uh, config, which maybe is something I can do in the future, but I do have the themes uh, and icons and things like that. Then I normally have a mode section and then I have uh, like a general packages, which is kind of funny because most of these things are minor modes. A lot of the things that I use are minor modes, but th then also some of them, like which key that we can see on the side there, you know, it is it is a mode, but I kind of see it as like a general utility package. So the things in here that we're going to want to add, if we just scroll down. So this is the kind of stuff that I normally add. Uh, I normally add to the general, so let's just go to the top again. What have we got? Uh, so, so in org mode as well, um, you can alt return, and it kind of creates a new, a new um, section, just like the one that you're in. So, don't show startup message. So, within here. For this to compile and to show, you know, to, to compile to code, you need to specify code blocks. And when and when the compilation happens, everything else apart from these code blocks will be ignored. So it basically extracts all the code blocks, merges them, concatenates them together, 
So it creates one big code block essentially, and then it saves that file so that it can be um, so it can be used. And you can do any language really, but for this we want to begin source, and it's an e lisp emacs lisp. Um, so that'll start the block and end source that ends the block. So in here we can just copy that over and that's it so i'll just quickly off camera i'll just quickly go through and add all of these other ones you don't need to see me copy and paste all of these so i'll just do that quickly and i'll be back with you in a few minutes Okay, so I've now added all of those, so I can go back over here and I'll just remove them from here. Um, to there. Okay, so the next thing, UI again. Oh, another thing you can do as well is, because we're done with this section, we can just uh, press tab on the heading and close it. So next we will do UI. So for the UI, the things that we want to add are Doom themes, Doom mode line, all the icons, uh, and I think I think that's it. That's the kind of stuff that I put in there. We've not actually got that many packages, so this will get bigger over time. Um, so yep. Uh, so theme mode line icons. So I'll just copy those across again, like I did before, and I'll be back in a minute again. Okay, they're done. Again, we'll just um, get rid of those. Okay, next, modes. Again, just going to do the same. I'll do the same for modes and general packages, and then I'll just move on to the next thing. You don't need to see me copy and paste the, all these things. So, off we go. Okay, everything's moved across. There we go, so we've got, um, I'll just go through it quickly. So in modes, I only put I do in there um, because I've actually not got any modes. Like I, in, in my own um, normal config, I have things like um, JSX, RJSX mode and things like that for programming and Python things. Um, but I, we've not added anything in that in this config. So all I put is I do in there. And then everything else I put in general packages. And one of the nice things you'll see is that in the, um, source blocks it, you get the color um, the syntax highlighting which is also nice okay so now that's all done um, if we go back to our main so normally this would be your init.l so we can get rid of that and we can so packages installed so we don't need to add any of that so we could add the package stuff and all of that to our um, my.tut.org we could add that over here at the top i just like to keep it kind of clean my tut.org clean um and this is all auto generated stuff anyway so so what we need to do well all we need to do is org babel load file or babel i guess it's babel not babel um expand file name and then you just give it the um so my you just give it the org file and and that's it and if we run that see at the bottom it said wrote my tut my tut dot el so if we go over here and we um just open up my tut dot el so this as you can see this compared to this actually put it over here So all it's doing is just taking these blocks from here and just adding them all to a big long list. So it's just generating it. Um, 
I do know that this does it on startup every time, which I know isn't the most efficient. So when you have a lot of packages, it can really slow startup times. Uh, I am going to look into that because I need to do that with mine. Mine takes ages um, to load, but it is something that I'm aware of and I'll, I'll cover at some point. So if I just close Emacs and open it again, go to my tuck config and then I'll get the error that I always get. Yes, yes, even though I've said yes before, but look into that. And then if I go to my init file, which actually I should probably change now because this goes here. So what I actually want to happen is if I go to either way, you saw that the theme loaded, the dashboard loaded, everything loaded, which was the point <laughs> that I was making. You know, we didn't get any errors apart from the theme one, but I know about that. That's unrelated. Um, we didn't get any errors and it everything loaded. It loaded our theme. Um, it loaded the mode line. It loaded the dashboard. So it worked. But we do want to um, go to mytut.org and if we go in general packages dashboard we can say okay when we start we want to load mytut.org if I kill that and I live learn how to spell or to type I know how to spell well I say I know how to spell I, I probably don't know how to spell as well as I should same errors yes yes i want to do that thank you um and then i go here this should now be my org file nice so that's just a really quick summary again using org mode just to kind of tidy up our configuration so it's easy to move around in the future whenever i'm doing stuff with configuration obviously i use this file now um but if you don't want to do this and you do just want a big file that's fine as well um just know that you know your config won't look like mine now anymore uh, yours will just be elisp um yeah so that's it uh, if you you know i really appreciate a like and a subscribe i appreciate tips and follows i appreciate comments you know i'll try to reply to things as much as i can if you've got ideas let me know if you've got you know comments or things you know that you think could be better you know if my microphone's not very good or like whatever let me know and i will do my best uh to to improve things and with that being said thanks cheers see you next time cheers bye